what's up YouTube land? It's your boy Eddie Hill, the White Oak Pennsylvania toy collector, and we are outside the new Ross Dress for Less that just opened up here in Monroeville. And we're about to head on inside to hopefully they got some good action figure goodness for us. This place is 2200 square feet, so here's hoping they have a lot of good stuff here. I got my fingers crossed for good luck. And may it be rocking of a day. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land. We are here inside Ross Dress for Less and we're at their toy section. If you get a chance to hit up this particular Ross, they have a lot of stuff between anime display figures and so forth. They got Demon Slayer, they got uh, Reincarnated as a Slime, they got Funko Pops, they got Dragon Ball, they got Sonic, they got Avatar right now, they got Turtles, they got Pokemon, DC, and so forth. So, like I said, with Ross, it's short supply here, so if you're going to get anything from them, best to get here while they're still stocked up. But before I leave, I want to give you the fans here at YouTube land the entire showing of their section before I leave. You can see they're really well stocked up right now but this selection is a lot bigger than the waterfront district selection was when i first went but look at all this glorious stuff a lot of it is well stocked up as you can see i wish they would have had a lot more but eh, this is their new location so here's hoping they open up a much bigger one in the future but for now it is what it is you can see their toy section is stacked. For Eddie Hill's reviews, this toy section is very stacked compared to other Rosses I've been to. As you can see, one more section to show you before I leave, and then we'll be on our way out and on our way back home. We will have to hit up one more location to get Transformers, because we're only short a couple Transformers here. But as you can see... Their toy section is really stacked up really high today. So very well stacked up indefinitely. So if you get a chance, hit up your local Ross. You won't regret it. And this Eddie Hill, moving on and rock on and rock out. YouTube land. Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill. The White Oak, Pennsylvania Toy Collector. And this is my entire toy haul for this month. And we have a whole table of epic action figures. We all love to see. If you're a subscriber of Eddie Hill's Reviews, I've got a whole lot of action figures to show off to you today. Some of this stuff I've gotten for free. Some of this stuff I bought at places today. I got at Ross. I got at the Exchange and so forth. But we are going to look at every figure we have in this epic toy haul on my table. So we're going to look at each figure once it reaches a minute. And we're going to move the tripod a bit closer. And show you off everything I got. As you know, we got... Some Digimon figures, we got some Mario figures, we got Transformers, we got DC, got some anime ticket items here, got some Halloween themed items as well, and of course we got some Turtle Power and some Star Wars figures. And now it's been a minute, we're going to look at the loose figures first. First on the list, we got this 1980s Transformers Beast Wars McDonald's toy. And I'm definitely glad to add another one to the collection. This is the third one I own. I will call him like my Inferno. So, Inferno. That's what I'm going to call him. Next on the list, we got Transformers Animated Mickey D's Bumblebee. I got that and the 80s toy at the exchange for only three bucks each. Definitely glad to add these to the collection. 
We will be having some Mickey D's Transformers to review. And of course, we got from my personal robot collection, it's Real Steel, Adam. And yes, we got Adam of Real Steel, and he looks awesome. Definitely looking forward to reviewing him, because I've never had a Real Steel action figure. I've been wanting one for a very long time. This is one I got for free. Someone got rid of this, and I found it. It is a Halloween squishy ball, and you just, with your hand, and it squishes. Oh, that's so much fun. Probably put that to be reviewed with the Halloween stuff tomorrow or Tuesday. I'm thinking about it still. Another freebie we got. We got Zenitsu anime keychain here. Ain't that cool? I did have a Gengar, but I wound up taking them out because I already had a Pokemon figure. Maybe I'll pick them up later down the road. <laughs> Next on the list, we got another Mario figure. This is the Raccoon Mario. He does have his tail broken off, but I still love him enough that I might just keep him and review him with the random figures when I add more random stuff to review. Next on the list, we got this little plushy shark. We'll put that with the horror pile for the for First Thing Tuesday. We're almost through all the freebies here. Almost being the word. Next, we got this die-cast car with a little key attached to it. I'm probably going to just keep it and just throw it on the shelf and review it as random and then just sell it somewhere down the line. But for now, we're going to hold on to it for the random pile. Okay, one more freebie, and then we're on to our Ross Hall. Next, we got this Superman from DC. And it's like a Nutcracker-style Superman. He didn't attach to his stand, so I wound up gluing him with extra strength glue. I will probably review that down the line. That'll be a nice figure to review, for sure. But now we're on to our Ross Dress for Less toy haul. We're going to look at each figure one by one. First on the list, we got is Transformers, Rise of the Beast, Nightbird Flex Changer. And now I got Nightbird to go on the Rise of the Beast shelf. I'm going to officially be starting. So we'll be looking for more Rise of the Beasts. And how much did we pay for her? Four bucks. Well, this figure was 15 bucks. So not a bad find at Ross. If I do say so myself. Next for Transformers, we got is another Legacy figure. And this is of Shadow Striker. From Transformers Cyberverse. Based on. She is a re... She will be remolded and repainted as Sideburn from 2001 Robots in Disguise. I'm definitely make that on my goal to pick up with uh, with Toe Line, which is a remold of the Junkion mold. But I love this figure. Definitely glad to be adding her to my Cyberverse collection. Next on the list, we got a Luigi. For my Mario collection, you know I had to have Luigi. When I saw him, I picked him up for six bucks. I had to pick this guy up. Too cool not to pick up. Definitely looking forward to reviewing him. Next on the list, we got the Mandalorian. My first figure of the Mando. And yeah, he's got the Stark Star Saber and his pistol. So he's ready to go on the shelf. Ain't that cool. Speaking of DC, we got the DC uh, Amigo line, and this is the Red Hood, and I've got my first Amigo. It's the Red Hood bad guy, or Damian Drake Red Hood, but I love the Red Hood. I paid about five bucks for this, so this is not a bad find for an Amigo. I'll probably review that with the Superman. 
Next on the list, we got Power Rangers RPM Lightning Series. RPM Yellow. Seven bucks for her. Definitely glad I found me a Power Rangers Lightning Series figure. I'm definitely making my goal to pick up more of these. These are so cool. A shame I didn't find the Black Ranger or the Yellow Ranger or Pink Ranger or the Green or White Ranger. Next on the list, we got Ninja Turtles. And this is B-S-T-A-X and Toys. And yes, I paid 10 bucks for this when this figure was originally probably 20 bucks. So yeah, and it's based on the 1980s Leonardo. Now I gotta get the other ones to complete the set and then I can review a whole set. This is just so cool. Definitely going to put it in my Turtles lineup, for sure. Next on the list, we got the last bit of figures. Two anime heroes I was hesitant on picking up. None other than Omnimon from Digimon. And yes, I had to have Omnimon here for a long time, but he was overly priced. I paid 8 bucks for him. And now he's ready to go on, be reviewed and put on my shelf. And now I get to start a shelf for nothing but Digimon. Digital Monsters. And the last one I picked up was War Greymon. I finally got War Greymon. The packaging is beat, beaten up on him quite a bit. But I look forward to reviewing him. But for tomorrow's review... Because it's the last regular figure week of this month. We'll be doing these epic Dollar Tree anime figures. So look forward to tomorrow's review. Because I look forward to reviewing these anime Figma Girls. For my collection. Because these are so much fun. I will be reviewing the whole set. If you like this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Please make sure to like, please make sure to comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And this is Eddie Hill, moving on, and rock on, and rock out, YouTube land.